I am super excited because this video is how to improve your personal credit score without having to pay all the expensive money to a credit repair facility to try and send out and do all kinds of tricks. This one is an absolutely incredible tool and I got an incredible deal on this. We're gonna do a credit masterclass that's gonna tell you how to take control, when to pay, how to pay to improve your credit or what will damage your credit if you do it, as well as being able to protect your credit up to a million dollars. It's absolutely unbelievable. We did a masterclass on this. I filmed it. I think you're going to love it. I've got Jimena, who is a credit executive that has been from good credit to bad credit, horrible credit to great credit, as I have too. And we did a masterclass for you. So please enjoy. I am super excited. I've got Jimena on the line. She is a credit expert. And I wanted to do, I figured I could do a video, but this would be much, much better. It's an instant like masterclass on taking control of your credit. See, I had to pay for several different products before I found this place where you can track, control, and protect your, your money. And I'm so excited to have you on. I'm so glad that you were able to join us and be able to talk us through this. Also, I have, you know, you've been like, literally you started your own business. Mm -hmm. You had great credit and then it crashed and burned and you end up with all the debt and then your credit was in the toilet and then you brought it back. And that's kind of like that. I mean, I've been there too. I had like 800 credit score, then it was in the tank like 500, and now I'm back 850. And I, I think credit isn't always the same. And what's really tough for me and also with my audience is that most people, they're literally 20 points behind being able to get a loan with me. Like they need to be 660 or 680 before we can st really start doing fix and flips and all types of different loans. And credit is such a big factor and they have all these places that say they'll fix your credit for all this kind of money. And mm -hmm. this was the only place that I could find that literally you can take control yourself. And I honestly wish my, all my audience would really take a look at this tool. That's why I wanted to do this masterclass where you could walk me through like you walked me through before. But I have a little challenge. Okay. Um, will you show your own personal credit? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do that. No worries. Okay. <laughs> the long pause. All right. So, cause I was thinking about that one. No, <laughs> I know. Right. So, um, how, how did you, how did you end up at, at smart credit in the first place? Well, it's funny. Um, uh, my ex fiance was, was working at the company. Uh, this is way back in 2013. And I, that's when my credit was in the toilet from the failed business that I had before. And, um, and he goes, you know, what? I know your credit's not great. Why don't you give this tool a try? I'm working for them. I've been using it. You know, it seems to be pretty legit. And then I was like, well, I really have nothing to lose. And so I signed up and I'll actually, I'll show you guys uh, where you can actually see when I signed up and then what happened afterwards. It only took about five months of using the system to really get some results. Um, I mean, it's even faster now because back then, uh, we didn't have this feature back then. So I was just using the score builder, which I can't even use anymore because I don't have any late payments. That, that one deals with late payments. But if you look at my score tracker, um, you can see that where I signed up way back on March 31st, 2013, wow. I was 39. And then in August of that year, I went to a 706. And I stayed there for quite some time See, and then I look at look at right there, March 31st, I wouldn't have been able to lend you any fix and flip money. No, like literally there'd be not a lot I could do in real estate with you because you were literally 21 points away from being able to get you approved for something. I mean, mm -hmm. literally you're 21 points away and literally within a couple of months, I would be able to God, uh, 706, 740, that there, I could do so much for you with that, with that much of a difference just in a few months. That's wild. Yeah, and so I, I was able to, you know, very quickly using the system, um, you know, to get these results. And then if you look at it up here, you know, later as I became a full-time employee um, uh, a little bit later, like from that until like 2021, um, 
So you could see that I stayed in like the 740, 750 range for pretty much the whole time. I then I shoot up to an 800. And basically what happened at this point is I used the score boost feature um, that was the deal to my credit utilization. So it was the way I was paying my credit cards was actually costing me 50 points. And in my case, it was costing me 52 points. In wow. my credit. And so I'm, I'm gonna log out of my personal oh, account. Yeah. Just Sorry. one second. I think what, what was really cool there is that um, in, in there, a lot of people don't realize there are lots of different types of scores. They get one score and they think that they're they're golden, but there there's a there's an auto score, there's an insurance score, there's just different scores. So you actually show multiple scores there in your tool, huh? Wow. Yeah, and then this one this is being pulled directly from TransUnion, so that is your TransUnion Vantage score. Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys what what is it that I did in order to get that result. So if we go to a test account. Wow, so that was your personal. That was my personal, yeah. <laughs> now we're in a test account, which oddly enough, it, it starts at a 639, which is where I started on, on the test account. But Oh my God, wow. That's not because of me. That's just how the IT team built it out. Oh. But so this one is really the one where you can get the most score, uh, most points the fastest. And basically, you'll see this account has $15,000 in credit card debt. They pay it off. They're going to add 78 points to their score, right? But say I don't have that. I just move the dial to whatever my budget is to pay off my cards. So you see down here, there's my cards, and then there's the amount to pay. And the key here is we have all the dates that these institutions are going to report your balance to the bureaus. And so credit utilization is 30% of your overall credit rate. So it's a pretty big chunk. I don't know if people really get what you're saying here because you know what's fascinating is most people pay off like on the 31st or on the 20 25th and what what happens is there that balance that you're showing there if you pay on the let's say february 16th right that uh, capital one card if you pay that one february 16th it's going to report that two thousand seven hundred and twenty one dollars but if you had paid that off on the 13th it would show zero utilization. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that is so important. That how do you how are you guys how are you guys able to see that? So basically we've mined all this data and put it into the system. This is something that we created that, that we've patented. For example, no no other company can can show you your future score, only we can do that. And so we've got this data in here and based on that, you know, we pull your credit report, we see what's on the credit report, and then we're able to calculate this um, based on that. Now, I'm not gonna say we're 100% accurate on these points, but we're pretty close. So if there's a little bit of a point difference, you know, kind of expect that, but it's pretty cool. Like you just move the dial and it shows you what change that made. And so, for example, when I shot up to those 50 points, what I was doing is I was paying my cards off on the last date that I possibly could. I was paying the, the full amount that I was asking me for, but I was just waiting because I didn't know any better, like most people. And I was like, well, I want to keep my money as long as possible in my pocket versus giving it to the credit card companies. But I was hurting myself. And the minute I changed all my payment dates, I went up 52 points. Now, I'm not saying you're going to go up that many points. Everyone's different. It just depends on your credit file and your calculations and all of that. But I've seen, you know, people that went up a hundred points or 20 points or, you know, 80, it's, it's, it's all over the board. Isn't that crazy? Just by knowing when, like you may pay Amex later, pay your Capital One earlier and, and balance and, and basically that completely changes your score just by knowing and yet they're not going to tell you this information necessarily. No, I, I didn't know that, you know, and, I, and I'd been, and, I, and I'd been, you know, looking at my credit and trying to get it approved, improved and all this stuff for, for a long time. And so likewise, just because on, on this side, it's like, okay, this is when you need to pay off your cards. But if you're going to have like a lot of expenses coming up, you can also move the dial to the other side. And then it tells you which cards to put it on um, based on, you know, how much you have available and, and, and all of that. So that you have the most time uh, to pay it back. But if you don't pay it back, it's also calculating the approximate point decrease that you'll suffer if, if you do that. That's crazy. So you're telling, uh, wow. 
So it'll actually aggregate what you should pay it on. Mine would probably be a mess. I have over 32 credit cards. <laughs> well, that's a fun file. <laughs> yeah, so that would be fun. That would be a fun mix. We're gonna have to play with that one of these days. I, especially if we can show it to my audience. I, I mean, I'd love that. I'm pretty transparent with my audience. So, yeah. wow. That's amazing that you can figure out how much to spend, how much that's going to affect your credit score. Uh, then you can figure out how much room you have. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if you've got to, if you're going to have an expense, like you got to fix your car, you can figure out when you can fix your car um, so that you can, you can maximize and have minimum impact to your credit score. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I've, nobody has this. And they can't because it's patented. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Is that a flex? Are you flexing right now? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I'm in as flexing right now. Oh my God. Wow, that is totally cool. Like I said, it's, you know, it, you every time you do this, like a master class. Um, and I just wish I could do this for everybody. I just don't have the time to, they just have to do it. That's the hardest part is you just have to do it. It's so crazy. It's it's completely affordable, you know? I. I I was probably, for all my credit tools before you guys, I was spending well over 150 bucks a month mm -hmm. just to monitor, track, and know. Like I bought insurance, I have insurance on my credit that I bought. Um, I lock my accounts. Um, I, I pay for uh, a credit tool that pulls all my bureaus, all this stuff. And um, to because I knew how important credit is. You'll pay more for insurance. You'll pay more for your car. It's the worst thing is having bad credit. Uh, it just, it, it pushes you into the dirt, you know? It's, yeah, and I, I remember like when I had bad credit, because I, I was, I had good credit and I had bad credit. I remember when I had the good credit, I, was, I always felt all good about myself. Yeah. And then when credit wasn't good anymore, I remember it was like this invisible weight that I had on my shoulders. And I literally felt it every day because I would think about it every day. And it was a little depressing. I mean, it, it, it got me down and I knew there's certain things that I wanted that I wasn't going to go be able to get because I would have to pay too much for it. Yeah, so. I was I was uh, eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars in debt and homeless. And I remember just feeling hopeless about my credit, um, just absolutely hopeless. And now I sit here with an eight hundred and fifty credit score. So I, I do remember I remember I, I thought it would never change. You know, and it wasn't until I just started doing something that everything turned around. Um, I, I called uh, the people that I had owed money to and I started working and, and I got most of this stuff handled. And it's just funny, just actually doing something is is better than nothing. And you know, I think the wrong thing to do is nothing, you know. So when did you when did you turn the corner and actually decide that you were gonna take control and fix, fix. I mean, basically work on your credit. Uh, it was just really when, when my ex, ex said that, he was like, hey, you try this tool. Because until then, I my plan at the time was just wait the seven years and wait till it falls off. <laughs> I didn't know you could do anything. <laughs> the, the, the whatever plan, right? <laughs> I got seven years so I can buy anything. All right. <laughs> It's like, like, don't worry, honey, time heals all wounds. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. Wow. And then that year I was able to buy my first Lexus. There was no way I was going to get approved for that before or that I could afford it, you know? Wow. So, wow. A little plug to Lexus there. They're not even paying me. <laughs> wow. So now we got a way that you can pay off more and see what your credit would improve. You can know that you've got to spend more because you got something coming up and see that what your credit will be affected. Also, exactly what credit cards to use. That's that's powerful. Yeah. That's and powerful. so and, and that's 30 percent of your grade. So we actually cover another 30, 35 to 40 percent, depending on the you know the bureau. But the other part of your credit report that is very important is the payment history. So the score builder is going to help you with that. Now, if you don't have any late payments, nothing's wrong. This feature won't be available to you, just like you saw when, when I logged into my personal account, because uh, that stuff's all been taken care of now. Um, but if you do have it available, there are some things that you can do. And so first, the cool thing is it's going to give you a little bit of a tutorial and just walk you through 
your um, credit report. So you can see, okay, so these accounts, those are helping your score. So that's pretty cool. And then these accounts here, something wrong, they're, they're hurting you. So let's go work on those. But most places are going to stop there and just give you some advice, but you still either have to do it yourself or hire someone to help you with it, which could cost, you know, a lot of money. So we're gonna keep going and just directly through our system, we, we can do what's called taking an action. Um, so we have our first problem account. I've got Citibank. There's a 90 day late here. Um, if it was a credit reporting error, perhaps I was 60 days late or just 30 or whatever, I would go to, you know, fix error. And then there's a whole bunch of reasons that are in the drop down menu. I could select one if it fits my situation. If it doesn't, I can type my own. Um, likewise, one that is very, um, you know, popular to use and it does work. It's a Goodwill correction. So if I was 90 days late, I could, you know, if I've been a long standing customer, request something, you know, I could add to this, say I called and so on, and I talked to so and so and they said X, Y, Z. Wow. And then I can go here. And once I hit the blue button, basically we're going to send a letter to Citibank to request this Goodwill removal on your behalf. So, so you write it, you guys send the letter? Yeah, it's either a letter or a fax, but it's always a physical communication. That is fantastic. So I don't even have to worry about it. I just, on the web, fill it out. I didn't even know you did this. Um, when we went through it before, I didn't even see this because I thought you had to print something and send it. You don't even have to do that. You can just, and you've already got a pre-filled out template. So I, I have 99% of the work is done. I just add a couple words, maybe. Very push button, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so wow. I, I mean, you're stacking one on top of the other. The other ones I paid for didn't even give me the detailed stuff about what was really hurting my credit. Yeah. It still was like a mystery. I didn't know, and it didn't break it up into those different categories. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so we made it really easy to, to use. And so you can see here, this person, they have late payments, they've got credit card debt, but if they just follow the plan, eventually this is their future score and so you just you, you do what you can little by little every month and you keep following the plan um you know you'll get results and so the smart credit report is just basically an easier way to digest your credit report um you know credit reports kind of ugly and there's all this you know information kind of need a phd to go through them well here you can just go to you know open accounts closed accounts credit cards collections because on your negative you can take actions from here too. So if I want to view it this way and then take the action, I could do that from here, not having to go through the score builder. Um, so we, you know, we've made it really easy for you to, to understand your credit report and, and what to do about it. Um, I saw that you had videos in there too. Does that help explain when you're going through the different parts, <laughs> like what to do? Yeah, so if you don't have me there with you like you guys do right now with the demo, you've got the, the lady there explaining, you know, what everything means and how to use it and all that. That's fantastic. Yeah, because a lot of websites you get in there and you just have no clue what to do. You're just looking at great stuff. It looks like a, you know, uh, an airplane instrument panel, but you don't know what to do, right? So Exactly. And right. uh, and on the, so here I'm inside the three bureau report. So basically we have all three bureaus in there and, and I know you were paying, you know, separately for that feature. Yeah. So, you know, with our system, there's, there's really two memberships. One membership has one free bureau report included every month. So, you know, it refreshes this every month. Okay. The other one doesn't. So, the, you know, the one that doesn't is, is a little bit less expensive. This one's a little bit more because we have to pay more for this data. But again, if you're, if you're going through the process of working on your credit, um, I suggest having this, having the option that has the three bureaus. And then every month you can check it and see your, your progress across all three. Then once you're kind of finished with the work, then you can just, you know, maintain all the other features. You don't need a three bureau report every month. Um, but this one, you know, kind of calls out to the eye, like what's wrong, what you need to work on. So it makes it really simple for wow. you. Again, everything's about simplifying, putting the power back in your hands, helping you understand without having to, you know, ask anybody. You can literally just read it on the site. Wow. So you have the credit reports, the scores, the yeah. actions you can take to help help at least work on your credit um mm -hmm. what to pay what not to pay when to pay good lord uh, yeah and so 
And that's not all because, you know, I always like to use the analogy, you know, working on your credit is kind of like having braces. Like you get braces, then once you get them taken out, they put this retainer in your mouth and then you have to live with it for the rest of your life. Otherwise your teeth get crooked again. Right. I, I have one of those, so I know. And, my, and I didn't wear it for a long time, but I had to have braces again. I know. I stopped wearing mine and I probably need to get a couple of teeth, uh, you know, Invisalign or something. Again. <laughs> That's what I got, Invisalign. Yeah. And so this that right down here is your braces, right? And then when we have good credit, we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can so that nobody steals our identity. So you've got a million dollar identity fraud insurance. If anything does happen, it's going to help cover a lot of different things. It also covers your family that lives with you in your household, just on your one account. So it's like any wait, like- Wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? Yeah. Your family is covered. Yeah. Good Lord. Wow. And your family. What happens if you got like 12 people in your family? <laughs> Unless they live in your household with you, they are covered. They have to live in your household. Well, it's a it's a 12,000 square foot house. Oh, they're all covered. That's how many you have in there. <laughs> <laughs> I might have 30 people move in. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Just to just to save on identity fraud insurance. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. Wow. Yeah, so we've got that included. This is another pretty cool one here, the money manager, because you can connect all your money accounts from everything, it's checking, savings, investments, like your Ameritrade and stuff like that, your credit oh card is low. Have you heard um, Mint is they're getting rid yeah. of Mint. So you guys have something to replace Mint? Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's a smaller, you know, version of that. It's a way you can look at it for sure. Wow, I love Mint. I mean, this is such an incredible tool because you know, like how much money you have, how much you owe, everything in one app. Because I have 69 bank accounts. Oh uh, my God, okay. you definitely need a tool like this. 30 credit cards and, and real estate and just all kinds of businesses and stocks and just bonds and treasury. It's just, and it all filters into Mint. It's incredible. Yeah, it's all into one app. So, and yeah, I. So, so, what I love about this is this is not obvious to the eye. So, that's why I like to explain it. But when you connect all your credit cards, now we're tracking all your transactions across all your cards. So, let's say you have other people that are using your cards, right? Um, you want to set up alerts. And so that every morning it's going to send you like a text message and an email. You go to alert settings. And then you're going to know about all the transactions that are happening. So whether somebody that you have as an authorized user, maybe is spending more money than you want them to, or if your credit cards get compromised, usually thieves are going to start with a smaller amount. And sometimes your credit card companies aren't going to be able to catch it. Normally it's like seven to whatever, a couple dollars, something that you wouldn't notice before yeah. they, before they go big. So right. you need to check every single transaction, not ignore anything for sure. Right. Yeah. That's why it's just email to your phone. I mean, yeah, text to your phone. I have text and email on mine. So I just get it. I'm like, all right, everything looks good. And then I'm good to go. Yeah, I do that. It's like, I don't even have to log in. So. Yeah, I, I check it, check mine every day. That's so cool. That's so And cool. the, the last thing I'm going to show you guys, I have to log back into my personal account for this one because it doesn't work in the test account. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've also built in this privacy master here and so what that's going to be like again this is helping you and now you have good credit you're more of a target um there's a lot of websites out there that are selling your personal information like where you live who your parents are who your kids are where they go to school all your previous addresses your age all these things like if i'm a stalker i can just go online and find anybody and i can show up at their house like it's terrible wow um, wow so this tool goes out and finds your information and shows it to you it's like is this you and then has you removed from the site so so all you do is you click a button i don't have any up here because i've already taken all my actions but it checks every 14 days to see if you show up on any new sites or if an old site put you back on you just click a button that says remove and we take care of the rest for you sometimes you'll get some email from the site saying did you really request this removal you just say yes and that's it it's like just clicking buttons is all you have to do Wow, that is incredible. I, you know, it's, it's so funny. And it's just become like they're, the government's making it to where they have to, they have to remove the stuff. So if you, especially if you request it, it's like your data. That's incredible. Because that's a lot of times how hackers are able to get information. The dark web slowly collects it, and then they get it from all the different places. 
Wow. Yeah, so if you look here, for example, this company, what they do is that feature I just showed you, remove your information from other sites. And you can see that they're charging 15 to $28 a month. Well, we're charging, it's 24 bucks a month for the, for the smaller program, so it's 23.95, right? You have a seven day, $1 trial. Or if you get the plan that includes the three bureau report every month, um, that one's twenty nine ninety five. So on, on the first plan, you you can still ch check the three oh, bureaus. Right. You just have to pay what, for it. What you're saying though is this is just one, just the protection for yeah, that, it's, it's, not it's, it's, not everything else that that comes with what you guys have. No, so I've I've added it up before, and like, and like depending on which companies you're using for what. Um, you know, everything that Smart Credit has in it comes out to like about $80 a month, you know, depending on where you buy like some softwares that are like DIY credit, control your credit kind of stuff. They're between 40 and 50 a month. And then you add in the insurance that, you know, LifeLock, for example, is anywhere between eight to 30 something a month, depending on the plan. That's 15 to 28, you know, it adds up. So if you add in all the different- the things, I, I was I was paying all that money um, up yeah. over a hundred bucks, but um, the, all it did was show me stuff. It didn't give me tools to fix it or to figure out what to do or when to pay. Um, yeah. There was no actionable stuff. So it was all it was all really dead. All I saw was what the problem was. I didn't, there wasn't a way to fix it. So, so this is not only monitoring your bureaus, um, protection, monitoring that your information where it's getting out there but on top of that you've got tools to start working on your credit to help help get it in in shape on top of that credit fitness <laughs> um that's unbelievable so it's 23 dollars for the for the smaller plan which is the one bureau is 29 dollars for like all three with all the rest of the all that all the other stuff everything you get here plus actionable do you charge for sending those letters out? That's included. You got to be kidding me. So no postage, nothing? No. No hidden fees? No. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. All right. I, I just, you know, we got to be full disclosure here. You know? Absolutely. I, I'm, thank you for asking the question. Oh, and another question that comes up a lot, people say, well, if I sign up here, what happens, to, does my credit get dinged? No, because it's a soft pull. So you can check your credit score literally every day in here and nothing's gonna happen. No, okay, so it doesn't show. So how how do people get started? How can they get into this and... Well, you wanna make sure that they use your link, Andrew, because if they go directly to the site, um, there is no trial. Your link has a $1 seven day trial. So if you're still not convinced, you can at least try it seven days for one buck. And then if you wanna stay on as a customer after that, then, you know, you can do that and you know we, we hope you do and you know get the best credit that you can possibly get that's crazy because if they even if they do the one dollar to just test it, it i know that i mean to pull bureaus because i'm i have to pull bureaus to do fix and flips um mm -hmm. i'm spending as much as 20 bucks a bureau sometimes yeah. 10 to 20 okay. bucks so I mean, on the on those one dollar channels, we there's there's a lot of costs that go into that. That is a lot more than one dollar that we yeah. Cover. I would say yeah, it's at 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 least thirty or forty. I mean, as much as sixty, depending on what kind of deal you cut. You guys are pulling a lot of reports, so but we're not. Yeah. You know, we pull reports, and some reports are ten that we ask for, and some are twenty. So um, they've raised all the prices on pulling reports. We've been just. Yeah, we're going through that too. <laughs> yeah, the, the credit bureaus have been, are charging more money now. So mm -hmm. um, a dollar is ridiculous. That's an unbelievable deal. Just to just to be able to peek under the hood and play with your play with the tool. Yeah, I always say like, you know, it's one dollar. I mean, you, can, you can't get it. You can't even go to the 99 cent store anymore. I don't think you can get anything for a dollar. I think they're 195 or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, you can always, if you're about to especially go in some sort of loan process, like for a car, a house, even if you're going to buy furniture and you want to get the, you know, the credit that they give you, um, it doesn't cost you much just to see how many points you have available. Get in there, see how many points you have available, get your points first, and then go apply for whatever it is you need. Wow. I, yeah, I'm, my thing is the wrong thing to do is nothing. And for a dollar, there's just no excuse. There's just no yeah. excuse. I mean, to at least look, 
I, I have so many people that if, if they just move their credit 20 points, I can get them millions of dollars. So it's, it's, it's so frustrating because literally they can, they're literally can help improve their credit over just a couple months. And then we can do the deal and then their life could change. I yeah, know. I actually, what I want to pull up is I want to show you guys, um, let's see, the actual savings. And then these change depending on the time, right? But there's calculators you can go out and, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. I know if, if someone uh, gets their credit in the right condition, um, yeah. they'll save thousands of dollars a, a year at bare minimum and maybe thousands of dollars a month, depending on you know whether like for example somebody who comes in for a car they can get five or six percent interest credit uh, interest and if they have bad credit they're they're 15 to 24 percent interest um and they get they have to put more down on the car so they have to put more down on the car they pay more almost 25 percent of the car every month i mean every year just just an in interest it's just digging a bigger hole you know? Yeah, so if you look here, uh, you know, depending on the score, so if we move the score down, let's say we're at a 610, that's my interest rate. I'm trying to buy a $30,000 car, by the way. I believe it's if it's you're at a, let's see. I know that if you're at a certain credit score, um, you can't buy a car under uh, over $30,000. So I think I, I thought I had wrote it down here. Oh, there we go. If you're at 620, the max you can get approved for is 30,000. So you can't even buy a more expensive car. And so if I'm trying to buy at 30,000, depending on my score, you can see how that interest, how the monthly payment goes up or how it goes down. Yeah. Wow. Let's see, look, it automatically moved my car loan amount. I can't oh. even go higher. Well, the re that is because um, your payment you can only pay so much per month. You can only afford what you can afford. Um, and then they have to adjust the car down in price because you're gonna have to pay more in interest. Yeah. Yeah, it's just- So you, you can see it here as well. Yeah. And then also on the, um, on the cars here, let's see, on the homes. You got homes and insurance changes. Mm-hmm. Um, let's do set under the principal loan amount. Let's say I want to buy a house for three hundred and fifty thousand. And then let's say I am at a six twenty. Calculate. So look at the score. This is how much I save depending on what my score is. Wow on interest over the life of the loan. I mean, it's pretty significant. We're talking about, you know, a $350,000 home up to $135,000. Difference, yeah. 135,000 more. So you dig in an even bigger hole just by not fixing a few things on a, a credit report and making some payments on time and negotiating, you know? Yeah. Wow. So you yeah, get I mean, your points and then, and then go apply, you know? So, it, so $135,000 in potential savings for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To get you on a journey to help get yourself in shape, credit shape. Yeah. Yep. That is amazing. All right. So they just hit the link. I'm going to pin a link also in the comment, but I'll put it in the description and, um, I want to, I'm going to keep the link in the, I'm going to keep in the, in the, put in some of the other videos too, because. This is just unbelievable. It's, I mean, yeah, and again, you guys can only get that link going through Andrew's link. If you go directly to the to the site, there's no trial. You just you have to pay up front. So in order to get the trial, you have to use Andrew's link. All right. Well, that is, thank you so much for being so good to my audience. I just wish they would they would do it. You know, um, that's that's my biggest thing is just don't give up. You know, it is possible. You're an example of that. I mean, you've totally turned everything around. I've turned everything around four times. So th these are the steps that you take to turn turn things around. So, yeah. and you've got the tool. This is the best tool I've ever seen in my life when it comes to credit. I've never seen anything better. So it's amazing.
Thank you so much for showing this this tool and going through it and explaining it and doing a mini masterclass on this. I feel like with what we gave, like for a dollar, somebody could get in there and at least get disputing some of their stuff and, and start getting their, their credit where they want it to be, you know? Exactly. Well, thank you so much for, for having us on your channel. Um, and yeah, if anybody has questions, um, you know, ask them in the comments. I'm happy to go back through and answer any questions you guys have. Oh, so awesome. ultimately, I just want to help because I know what difference it made in my life. I mean, I, I work here now, so it's like it, it changed my life, you know, Yeah. way back then. I changed my life. I mean, I'm I'm assigning for millions and millions, $8 million at a time. And, you know, it wouldn't be possible if I didn't work on my credit, if I would have completely gave up. So thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for giving this deal to my audience. Um, I hope everybody jumps on it and, and clicks on the link and for a dollar at least looks under the hood because it's an amazing tool. Thank you so much, Amena. Bye.